at the end of Mass Effect 2, you decide to destroy the collector base. Harbinger, the little hologram of Harbinger, uh, that's in front of the collector general. He, you could hear him saying, "You have failed. We will find another way. Release and control." And then he just disappears, and you could see the general, the collector general, is kind of like, kind of like, "What do we do now?" Does that mean that the Reapers, like? released their indoctrination on the collectors? Like, were they not indoctrinated in that moment before they died? If he destroyed the collectorship? Um, since he says releasing control for like a second, were they not indoctrinated? Or did they all of a sudden like kind of become Protheans again? Like deformed Protheans? I don't know. I I've, I've wondered that. Probably not, just because, you know, they were so far lost and so far from being Protheans anymore that I think they were probably just like this, like, drone-ish anyways, but I don't know, I, I've wondered about that. But just a little uh, interesting thing that Morden says is that he says that the Collectors are, uh, he believes that the Collectors are mindless drones, uh, closer to husks than slaves and they're lacking any form of culture. He observes that there's uh, no, the collectors show no concern for self-preservation and will die in battle even if their fight is completely pointless. And he also believes this because the collector base, their ships, have n no kind of creativity to them. Like n no art on them or nothing that represents anything. No, no symbols, nothing. So he says that he thinks that they're they're mindless. So he says that all collector um, technology is to serve only one purpose. That's it. There's nothing to it. Nothing else. There's no aesthetic value to it. Nothing. It's just to serve whatever it's made for. Its purpose. There's an article that's pretty interesting uh, in, on Game Informer. I believe it's a pretty old article. I think it was put out in 2010. Um, it's called the uh, Drawing Mass Effect 2, The World of the Collectors. It's pretty interesting if you guys want to see that. I'll put the link in the description. It just talks about, you know, how they came up with the with uh, the, the collectorship and how it looks and all that. But this is, uh, I'm pretty much done talking about the collectors. I just want to talk a little bit, a little bit about uh, the collectors, Protheans, and Mass Effect 3. This might be a spoiler for those of you that haven't been keeping up with anything, any recent news regarding uh, Mass Effect 3, or if you don't want to know anything about it, I'd say just, you know, stop the video here, because it's not going to be that much longer, and you're not going to miss that much. So for those of you that do want to know about it, it's kind of obvious with seeing um, the whole DLC, the Day 1 DLC, uh, the Prothean and all that. I've been keeping myself away from anything regarding that because I don't want to know about it. Uh, I kind of know some nit snippets here and there just because I can't really prevent seeing these things every now and then because um, I do get messages and all that and I'll just like get a glimpse and I'm just like oh. So I haven't, I know how, I have an idea of how the Prothean look uh, or the, the Prothean looks in Mass Effect 3. Not like in detail because like the way he's dressed and all that but the thing that jumped out, that I caught, that I, and it was just like a little thing, like a little thumbnail that I saw, and I didn't even have to like click on it, look closer, but I was like, oh my god, and I, it, it really threw me back, because if you remember in Mass Effect 1, the way that the Protheans look like, due to the, uh, the statues on Ilos, they looked completely different, they looked like they had tentacles coming out from here from their chin, their mouth area, and they 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 have like a like a round head, um, and they have long limbs, and it, it makes you think those were the Protheans, and especially in the visions that Shepard has on Mass Effect One, it they look like the like that they look like the Protheans, like the ones that you see on Ilos. But then in Mass Effect Two, once you find out that the Collectors are the Protheans you see this, these visions, and it's no longer those pro Protheans that you saw in Mass Effect 1. It's, it's, they look like collectors now. And you're just like, 
you're like, which ones are the Protheans? Is it, you know? And then as, after seeing the collectors, I was like, did they really change them so drastically? Like, they look different in Mass Effect 1 than they do in Mass Effect 2, or as, they, as collectors. I'm just like, wow, they just completely changed them, completely. With this whole, with the way that they look so different, it made me, that's when I started to think, when I, when I played Mass Effect 1, I was like, those are the collect, those are, I said, those are the Protheans, that's what they look like. But then, once after I played Mass Effect 2, I was like, what if those statues on Ilos in Mass Effect 1 were another species? What if they were a species that, that the collectors worshipped? Or what, what if it was a species that came before the collectors? Or, uh, or, I mean, the Protheans. You know, like another one that they would worship enough or respect enough to put statues. Or maybe those statues were already there when the Protheans came. I, I thought about that, I was like, that could be a possibility too. But I always imagine the Protheans, I, whenever I picture them in my mind, they looked like they did in Mass Effect 1, those statues on Ilos. Even after seeing the Collectors, I just, I was like, I couldn't see the Protheans that way. I was like, no, those are the Collectors. But after seeing the Prothean, the little glimpse that I got of the Prothean, I was like, whoa, okay. Those statues on Ilos were definitely another race. Because the Prothean, now I don't know the story behind the Prothean, and if you guys know it, please don't tell me, please. Please, you guys, a lot of you guys have already spoiled a lot of stuff for me, so please don't say it. And I'm going to make this, the comments private this time, because there are a lot of spoilers everywhere. So I'm just going to prevent it this time. I'm probably going to get the worst part of it, but I don't want it to happen to you guys. Um, so if you guys could spare me, please. Please. I don't know the story behind this Prothean, the DLC. But he does look like a collector. He doesn't look like a Prothean. I mean, he doesn't look like those... Those creatures. Those statues on Ilos in Mass Effect 1. So then the Protheans did look very much like the collector. They didn't change them that much. I would have preferred the Protheans to look like the, the tentacle things. Um, I don't know, I just think they would look cool that way. But they don't look like that. It would probably kind of be kind of awkward just because, you know, big limbs, big... You know, it would be weird. But they look like the Collectors. It's going to be very, very, very interesting to see what that Prothean has to say. Like, what happened to him? Where was he? Um, how did he... How did he survive? Dude, where were you? What the hell happened, dude? That's what I want to know. So that's just a little mix-up that I had. A little, like, it was like, what? It, it was very, when I first saw that little thumbnail, I was like, I didn't want to look at it. I was like, and then I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, they look like the collectors. I don't know. It, it was, it was obvious that they looked that way for some reason, like, just the way that Mass Effect 2 kind of pointed towards that. That they look more like the Collectors, that those statues in Ilos were something else. But then it makes me wonder, who are those statues on Ilos? What are they? They look like husks. Some of them look like husks. And I'm just like, could those be the, the, the creatures or the race that created the, the Reapers? The, the statues on Ilos? Were they the first husks that the Reapers ever made? With, I don't know. I, I just can't wait till most Mass Effect 3. They have to answer that stuff. Because that has been a huge question in my mind. That whole, that whole, the statues on Ilos, the Protheans, and the Collectors, and like, what's going on there? Like, wh why did you make us think that those were the Protheans in, in Mass Effect 1? You know, they, they, didn't they didn't say those are the Protheans, but that's what they made us think. And then all of a sudden they change it in Mass Effect 2. It's not change it, but all of a sudden you're like, wait, then who were those guys? And then in Mass Effect 3, it just proves it. It's like, because there was still that question. It was like, maybe they just changed, maybe the Reapers just changed the Protheans so much that they now look different. They made them more ins insect-like. But, but that's not the case. At least, that's what it looks like 
for Mass Effect 3. Now, who knows what the story behind this Prothean is, but I can't wait to find out. So yeah, that's just a little little thing that I had that I thought was interesting. But so that is it for the insectoid species. Oh, I forgot to mention that the collectors have wings. Insect wings that allow them to fly. I'm not sure if that was added by the Reapers or if the if not, then that means that the Protheans are also considered an insectoid species. Because uh if the wings were already part of the Prothean that's just crazy. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna end it here because I'm pretty much losing my voice. Um, I don't know why I just started that way. I don't know. Oh, uh, for those of you that don't know or that haven't seen, uh, we, uh, Scottish Wear 92, RL Chill, and I, these are two other YouTubers, um, good friends of mine, we wrote a fan fiction, a Mass Effect, a Mass Effect 3 fan fiction that is um, that revolves around the multiplayer. We, we, it's called Mass Effect 3 Retaliation. We wrote this fan fiction. It's been, what, like, we've been writing it for about three to four months already. I'm gonna put the link to the fan fiction in the description. I put up chapter three yesterday, and I'm gonna be putting up chapter four, uh, today. If you haven't read the profiles, please read the profiles before you read the story, because it'll make, um, It'll make more sense, that way you know who these characters are and you know who's writing the character because each of us are writing different characters. It's been getting a lot of good feedback and I appreciate that. I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it. It only gets better as it goes on, so um, we're having a blast writing it. So much fun. The link's going to be in the description and yeah. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later.